hi and welcome back to this channel i want to introduce myself for those who are new here my name is martha makwata and uh, in this channel we cook we do hauls and we do what again <laughs> we cook we do hauls and we do reviews so whether it is item reviews spice reviews all those be it kitchen items or what have you so welcome if you're new here we love visitors so much in this channel feel at home and uh, consider subscribing to make yourself a permanent member of this channel if you're returning to watch this video thank you so much for always coming back and uh, remember to kindly like comment something good and uh, by the way these likes and comments take this channel very far so consider supporting this channel by commenting or even just liking that will take it so far away so today i'm again ready with another video i want to head to the kitchen to prepare some meal i want to have a late lunch come early dinner so let's head straight to the kitchen today i was in the supermarket i was buying uh, omena we call them omena there are people who call them are these sardines there are those who call them silver fish there are those who call them yeah those ones <laughs> i don't know how you call them in your mother tongue or in your language kindly comment below on how you call omena in your language uh, or uh, uh, silver fish in your language so we call them omena i went to get some and uh, this lady at the counter i don't know what made her ask me but she asked me how do you prepare this and i quickly explained to her how i prepare mine so I hope this will be helpful. I'm preparing the omena that I bought today. So come along with me. Let's prepare and have our dinner together. So what will go into my omena? I have uh, two tomatoes here, a big or a medium sized onion. I'll put in some garlic, which are right here. I'll also put in some dania and uh, fen fenugreek leaves. So that is what is going into it. So we are cooking it right away. So what I normally do uh, for my omena today, it is already fried. If you read here, it is already deep fried. But if you get those which are fresh from the market, the first step is to sort them out sometimes they come with the shells shells from the lake so the first thing you will do is to sorry for that i'm trying to straighten a cutting here so the first thing you will do is to sort the omena out to remove the the shells but for this they are clean they are fried so we, we skip that step of sorting out boiling or frying so now that they are already fried we'll just do the frying with a little bit of oil to fry my my condiments then we put the omena inside and we are good so kindly come along i never do my outfit of the day this is the way i look like <laughs> yeah so come along let's cook So I've noticed my dania has run out, so I only have fenugreek leaves and a piece of chili. I'll not put in the whole. If you want to see the way I'll do it all, kindly just keep watching. And uh, this is the what is going into our omena: tomatoes, onions, garlic. A little bit of chili, fenugreek leaves, and of course some spices. I'll put in curry powder and uh, some uh, turmeric. Then that's it. <laughs> so let's light up our jiko. 
and start the cooking. We said a little bit of oil. This is just to help us with whatever we are putting in because our, our omena is already fried. Omena. So I'll put in my garlic and my onions together to start cooking. Pull out the spatula. Then I use this one. What this one means? The other one. I want to try this one out and see the way it will do. I'm sure you are able to see well. This is where I keep my spices. <laughs> I have so many spices. Some of them I take long before I use. But I don't use. So what is going in is this one and a little bit of turmeric. So we'll put it in. Then in the meantime, I'll be preparing my fenugreek leaves in preparation to putting them inside also. So not so much. This is enough. I'm cooking a serving of two or three, three servings. My son does not love omena so much, so he will choose if he will eat omena. If he will not, then maybe we will prepare eggs for him or something else, some other protein. So I normally add my these leaves at this point to just extract the spiciness of the leaves. They are clean. Just remove them like this. So today we will not get, we will not prepare ugali together, the ugali was prepared earlier on. It's set in my fireless cooker, ready for eating. What I call my fireless cooker is the basket that keeps food hot. So at this point, I'll add in our tomatoes, tomatoes or tomatoes, however you like to call them. Our tomatoes are in. So I've covered our food to just cook, our spices, they are going on here, that is what we will are doing. So I'll prepare our chili, I just want a little bit of chili, not so much. So because I want a little bit, I don't want the leaves, uh, the seeds to go in, so I'll just cut it into very small tiny pieces
then you go ahead to put it in so that it cooks together with the rest of the things that are cooking. So the chili is inside. don't need to have a spatula like this, even a wooden one can do, even a normal spoon can do. At times when you watch videos online and you see someone using something, you think that maybe if you don't have that skill, it will not come out. Even for spices, you have options. You can use whatever you like in your omena. You don't have to put curry powder and turmeric the way I've done. You can use whatever you have or whatever you want in your own menu. And again cover it for the last time. So this is the way my anana looks like. Looks so yummy. I want to use a small cook spoon to put it in here. Our spices are also cooked and ready. So we we'll go ahead and do this to serve three people. So about half of the container. So to bring everything together, I'll add in my coconut cream. I guess that's enough. So if you don't have coconut cream, you can even use milk. If you don't love milk, you can put in a little bit of uh, water or eat it dry the way it is. Amena is so easy and you treat it the way you want it to be. And 
we'll finish up with putting some salt then we cover it to simmer for about two to five minutes and we are ready to enjoy so i'm putting in salt then we cover it and come back after i've plated my omena so i've put in about half a teaspoon of salt i'll taste and see whether the salt is enough so the cream is just to bring everything together the coconut cream very nice Let me see my on low heat for about five minutes maximum. Then we plate it and enjoy. So this is the way our omena has turned out. I think this looks so good and it is so yummy. I'm tempted to start eating. <laughs> so this is the dinner I'm going to have. And uh, guys, I talked about a fireless cooker. Let me just show you that basket before I embark on eating. I'm sure most of you could have seen this basket. Even in my kitchen, yes, or elsewhere. So this is the one I call fireless cooker. If you boil your rice and uh, the rice is just about and you put it in here, one, it will cook and finish, and number two, it will keep it warm or hot. In fact, or hot. This one keeps it hot even for about four to six hours. So this ugali you see in here was cooked at around midday, and it is still hot. It's the ugali I'm eating. So I'm keeping it, I'm covering it so that uh, my son can also find it hot and enjoy it for dinner. It was cooked, the ugali was cooked at around midday or 1 p.m. And right now it's heading to 7 p.m. And the ugali is still hot. So uh, I think that's all I wanted to share with you. I hope you love this video. Kindly remember to give it a like, give it, comment something. And until the next video, bye for now. So, so sweet. <laughs>